Welcome back to Home Build Workshop. Today we're going to use a bowl and tray bit in our router along with a few scraps of wood to make these really cool little guitar pick shaped parts trays. Check it out. When I'm working on guitars, I always have little screws and springs and things that risk getting lost if I don't have a good place to put them. I decided I needed to make some little trays that I could use for parts trays. And it would be really cool if at least one of them had a magnetic bottom. I'm gonna use some off-cut pieces from some guitars to make these little bowls. The first one is gonna be done from a bunch of these little weird shaped scraps. I need to trim these down so that I can get them glued up before we move on. I'm gonna whip some pieces off at the bandsaw just to give me some square stock to work with. I'm gonna make sure they're nice and flat using my drum sander. You could always do this by hand as well. Now I can set this aside to dry and start working on my template. Now the template that I'm going to make is going to be for routing out the inside using a router. I'm just going to use some half inch birch plywood. Let's not talk about why it's shaped the way it's shaped. If you're interested in this template, it's nothing fancy, just a couple of inner and outer guidelines. I'm going to put it on my website and the downloads page. Now just in case you're wondering why I didn't stick it right on the edge, I'm going to cut the center out and I want to leave plenty of material around the outside so that my router has plenty of support. I don't even think I'm going to clean up this edge. I'm going to leave this as a reminder to past mistakes. As soon as the point on the Forstner bit starts to poke through the back side, I'll flip the piece around and drill it from the other side. This will keep the hole nice and clean and free of tear out. So it's time to dig out the scroll saw. Can you tell I haven't used this in a long time? I hope I have blades on hand. I also decided that I should make a template of the outside shape as well. This way I could just trace it out off of a master template in case I want to make more of these in the future. This is kind of like making a guitar. Once you have the templates, you can always make more of these. It's easier to do it ahead of time than to try to go back and recreate it. Is that not the weirdest looking templates you've ever seen? <laughs> I kind of like it. Unconventional. For the first one, I'm going to start out with this giant cleaver shaped offcut. My main outer template will fit on there perfectly. For these other bowls, I'm just going to use some other scraps that'll fit. This one here is some cherry. In order to make the routing easier, I'm gonna use a Forstner bit and remove as much of the center material as I can before going to the router.
and the glue's dry on the piece that I glued up, so I'm gonna flatten that and then hollow that out as well. Now I've got the center roughly hollowed out, now comes the fun part. I'm gonna use a bowl and tray bit to route out the inside. Now a bowl and tray bit is very similar to a flush trim bit or a pattern bit, except that it has this rounded profile, which gives a nice rounded bottom when you route this out. And the bearing along the bottom is gonna allow it to ride around my template and give me a nice precise shape. So now I can secure my template with some double-sided tape. And with my router on a plunge base, that's gonna allow me to make multiple passes and quickly adjust the depth of the router in between each pass. It would probably be a good idea to do this outside if you have that option. There's sawdust is everywhere. What a mess. I gotta clean this up really quick and then we'll get to cutting these out. Cutting them out goes really fast. I'm just following the pencil line that I drew when I was originally laying these out. I'm staying just outside the line. I'm gonna sand it to the line a little bit later. I'm at the point now where I can sand the outer shape, but one thing I wanna try, this one is a little bit shallower and I wanna do a little experiment with it. I wanna slice off the bottom and embed some computer magnets into the bottom and see if I can make this a, like a magnetic tray. I started this cut on the bandsaw and got as far as I could but the capacity of my bandsaw is not enough to just run the whole bowl through. So I cut as far as I could and then finished up the rest using a handsaw. Aha. It worked out pretty well. It's a little bit uneven, so I'm gonna flatten out both surfaces using a piece of sandpaper. Now I need to make a small recess in the bottom for these little computer hard drive magnets. Now the easiest way would be to grab a Forstner bit and just drill a very shallow hole there, but I'm afraid that the tip at the end of the Forstner bit is going to poke through the top. I've got a very limited amount of space to work with on the bottom. So I'm going to use my trim router with a straight cutting bit and just freehand a little space. I've got the bit set at just over the thickness of these magnets. So now I've got my magnets dropped in place, I can just glue the back on. I'm adding a little bit of tape to help prevent the piece from sliding as I clamp it up. Okay, I'm a little bit disgusted right now. I'm not sure why, but it seems as though the last two times my camera has quit recording right when I was in the middle of a glue up. What did you miss? Not a whole lot. Right now I've got it clamped up here. Now it's drying. Sorry you missed that. I don't know what happened. But anyway, let's move on. I'm going to start sanding down those other bowls. It's 
So as I was sanding these, I noticed a couple of cracks that were actually moving. I'm gonna put a little bit of thin CA glue down in those cracks to help stabilize them. This is one of the things you have to deal with sometimes when you're using some reclaimed wood. This one also has a crack, but I'm just gonna squish some wood glue in there. That should work just fine. I can see squeeze out on there. It's good. And now we're down to just the final sanding. Still sanding. Well, that took a really long time. I got all of these sanded up to 320. It's time for some finish. For the finish, I'm gonna use a penetrating oil that's intended for guitars. It applies really easy with a paper towel. I'm really liking the look of this with just the one coat. I think I'm gonna stop here. It kinda has just a very matte sheen to it. Really like how that looks. We're gonna let these things dry. So what do you guys think of these things? They're really easy to make. You can make them in any kind of wood. You could change the shape to anything you want really. You just make a template for whatever you need and you'll always be able to make some more. That is one reason that I really wanted to make templates because if these are really handy, I'm gonna be able to make a lot more of these. This one is gonna work out really awesome. I can take little parts and screws and place them in there and then even if I drop the bowl, I'm not gonna lose them. Now if you wanted to, you could take this exact same design and they could become a prep bowl or anything like that. Just because it's wood doesn't mean that you can't use it in the kitchen. Wait for that finish to cure and it'll be food safe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this project. I enjoyed making it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget, links in the description for social media, website, all that good stuff. And until next time, thanks a lot for watching. Not sure how I'm gonna line this up. I think I need to make one more template. I don't want to make one more template. Means I gotta get everything back out again. Ugh. Make it easier though. Do it right the first time, right? <laughs> Helps if you plug it in. Oh, I have two rubber gloves. Well, of course that one's got a hole in it, so that's not gonna last very long. Oops. Yay, hand sanding. This one's gonna work out really good. Now I can take little parts and things and set it in there. That's not even metal. <laughs>